Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus 21 and today verses 20 and 21. I'll read them and then we'll comment. If a man strikes his male or female slave with a rod and he dies at his hand, he shall be punished. If, however, he survives a day or two, no vengeance shall be taken for he is his property. So notice here that this is going to apply to the male or and the female slave, either one. This doesn't just leave the ladies out like somehow, you know, the Hebrews just deal with laws for men. When they talk about a law, it applies to, to men and women, basically. Unless there's a particular, you know, sexual exemption from it. I've got a couple of notes here I wanted to share with you. If the servant died, it was murder. If the servant lost just a day or two of work, however, the owner was not obliged to do what the previous law required uh, to compensate the living for lost time or medical cost. We just had that yesterday morning. So yeah, if, this per if the servant died, it was murder. See, a servant is not just property in, the, in that chattel sense here. The servant that we're talking about here is one who, it's a life. If you kill him, it's murder. So there's an actual penalty here different than if it was like, yeah, you stole my cow. That's different than that. And uh, we had a note here from Sarna I wanted to share. Listen to the Sarna and the JPS commentary again. And Sarna is telling us that this law helps protect the slaves against mistreatment by their masters. I mean, because look at it. This is different. This is different from all the other ancient Near Eastern laws. The Hebrew law code is different because God gave it. It's different. Uh, this is kind of giving quality to the person who's in one of those periods of service, slavery. You were not just allowed to strike your slave. You were not just allowed to beat him and thrash him and kill him and throw him in the ditch. You would be punished if you harmed the person that much. In fact, we'll see more in the next couple of days here, even, even down to, you know, you knock his tooth out, he's done, he's free. <laughs> so uh, this is, uh, these are incentives against inhumane treatment of people, even though you have this compelled service over a period of years arrangement. So this is different from the other laws in the ancient Near East. Basically, in these other, other nations and other situations, if you mistreated a slave, it was like, yeah, we don't care. You know, you could just mistreat them and kill them and throw them in the ditch. Uh, but that's not what we have here in God's order. God's order is bringing people up always. God's order is, is enhancing whatever is down there at the lowest ebb in the ancient world. God is, God is bringing it up. He's bringing it up. He's bringing human value up higher so that we will value each other in a way more like God values us. So God is, is building. The, the image of God is in us, it, whether you even are a person who's in, you're, you're up for six years of labor, you're, come, you're stuck in as is this form of slavery, uh, God is still going to lift you up. Remember that even if you are a, a slave in the household, if you're circumcised, you're treated as part of the covenant family, and you're, you're on that level with them. Remember that like on the seventh day Sabbath, uh, the servant doesn't serve you. The Sabbath is a day off for, this, for the person who's a slave in your household, if you even have one. So you know, on the Sabbath, all these things are leveled out because it is the creator and the creatures. We're all creatures before him, all of us, whether you're the, the judge or you're the lowest servant uh, or you're the lowest daughter or son or you're the patriarch or the matriarch in the family. We're all on the same level on the Sabbath. Anyway. We'll stay here with this and we'll come back tomorrow morning and see the next couple of laws that are going to be laid out for us. God is helping Moses lay out this stuff uh, to help people apply and live in the way that is going to be the most human and the most humane. And we think today we're like super advanced uh, and these guys are a bunch of flea-bitten guys that don't know what they're doing. No, 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 no. All right, see you tomorrow morning.